Dr. Navon, since, as, as Neri said, this is a heavy time here, we have Eurovi Eurovision coming up and Independence Day, that's going to see a lot of tourists coming into the region. Do you think that this has affected uh, the decision by Benjamin Netanyahu in, in their response to Gaza? Well, of course, and also affected the decision of Hamas to start this uh, round of violence. I mean, Hamas knew that this was a very sensitive time for Israel, as was just uh, reminded. Uh, the uh, commemoration this week of Israel's Independence Day and then the Eurovision next week. So Hamas knew this, this was a perfect time to extort from Israel uh, the, uh, the agreement or the uh, expansion of the agreement that was reached a few weeks ago, which is why they decided to shoot now. And Israel, for its part, we have an outgoing and incoming government. And Netanyahu is building a coalition right now. Uh, and it was the, the worst time for him possible uh, to have another war uh, with Hamas, which is why he accepted the conditions demanded by Hamas and negotiated via uh, Egypt uh, and, and the UN. But the question is, of course, what is going to happen uh, in the coming weeks or months when Netanyahu forms his new government, because you'll notice that the criticism of this uh, agreement that was agreed by Israel uh, comes mostly from the left and not from the right. It's completely quiet on the right about this, what is in fact a humiliating uh, uh, capitulation to Hamas, and nobody on the right is saying anything. Right. Uh, so the government formation 